Good afternoon, Year 6, and welcome to today's Geography Lesson, where we have been looking at changing landscapes recently, especially with weathering and erosion. Today, we are going to be looking at changing landscapes due to human geography changes. So, you're going to explain how and why landscapes change over time. Now, again, it's going to be focusing on the UK. So let's look at Chesterfield. This is 1979. This is how it looked in 2015. What differences can you see here? Well, if you notice, it's a bit more modern. It's still got the same old building now. It's, but it is a bit more modern. This building has been rebuilt on this side. Look at the road. Now, this has been pedestrianised, which means that, well, in this case, only sort of vans delivering here are allowed to go into the streets. But in these days, the cars have been going back down. Why has that happened? Well, changes of shopping habits, people wanting to be um, you know, able to walk around to shop much easier. So you can see how this has changed. Um, let's have a little bit look further down. Again, it looks like it's got a new building down at the bottom. So we can see some differences there. Now, here is Medway, 1958. Let's look at Medway in 2015. Well, quite some clear differences here. One is the type of cars that are there. Um, you will see that it's actually very similar. Uh, we have got some differences with the electronics. Electric pylons here, they are no longer here now. The trees are very similar, the houses are almost in the same location. We've got some changes here with the walls, but otherwise it's quite similar. Not much has changed really in just over 50 years. The biggest change is going to be the electric street lighting and of course the cars. Let's have a look here at Taunton in 1918 compared to Taunton in 2015, 100 or nearly 100 years difference. You should be able to notice some very clear differences here. Look at the style of the shops. Look at the building, the building has changed. Why has this changed? Well, maybe it was to allow more space. Look at the type of shops, Waterloo restaurant and saddle enhancement, so for horses, horse and carts, compared to now shops, bookshops, cars, the style of the buildings and how they look. So really have a think about how things have changed and why that might have been. Robin Hood's Bay, 1958, compared to Robin Hood's Bay in 2015. Again, you can see they're actually very similar. They've almost got the exact same colour on the house here. This one has changed slightly, it might even be a little bit different, it might be a bit wider. Has the coast changed any? Not really. In the 50 years, it's very, very similar. Again, there's a little bit more of the beach here, but that could be because the tide has gone out. I would say that these are very, very similar. So not much again has changed in the sort of the 57, eight years of between these photographs. But some places do definitely stay the same. Tower Bridge, 1956. Tower Bridge, 2015. Place in London. You'll see not much has changed and not at all. Now, why has that not changed? Why has there not much changed here? Well, Tower Bridge is what we call a Grade 1 listed building. Now, it's a building with exceptional interest and often those buildings cannot be changed. So here are some reasons why buildings can't be changed. If they are listed for historical reasons, for special interest or exceptional interest, they cannot really be changed. Uh, monuments, and again, certain councils, uh, certain areas of the UK will not allow changes if they want them to be kept the same as they were made. Um, again, archaeological importance, so things like Hadrian's Wall will never be changed. Um, anything that's got huge, significant historical um, importance will not be changed. Landscapes are often not changed, they are trying to be kept as close as possible, so cutting down trees is a big no-no. Um, again, and habitats, if certain animals live there, then again they won't change them. So you can see some very clear similarities of things that have not changed, and some very clear differences. Again, there could be changes because humans have changed them to make it easier for them to move around, like this pedestrian zone. Again, much easier to walk around, no dangers of cars travelling down the street while you're shopping. To, um, obviously, modern advances in technology, such as the cars, and of course for buildings to allow more space, okay, or for better design. Now, it's your job today 
to now compare the past and the present. I am using a Windows computer. Um, Apple has similar capabilities and this will work on tablets. So if you want to screenshot them on tablets and write over them, uh, over two images, you can do as well. Okay. Uh, I find it's easy using a Windows computer because it's what's in front of me um, or a MacBook. They are much going to be much, much easier than using a tablet. So I go to this website here, geograph.org.uk. Now it will open up this website that looks a little bit like this. Now let me just get rid of this one here. Okay. Then. So it'll bring you to this website. Now what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to explore and you'll need to go down to this day in past years. And if you click there, it will bring up a photograph that was submitted to this website in certain points of history. Now, not much is really going to have changed between 2015, 16, and 17 to now. So I'm going to scroll right down. I'm going to look for those really good black and white photos. That's where I'm looking for. Here we go. Okay. So I've got my old photos from like 1974 and 1975. Now, I'm going to choose one of these to compare from then to now. My biggest advice would be to choose one with a street. Trying to find, for example, um, you know, let me go. Trying to find this image here in a modern version is going to be quite difficult. Um, there's not many points of reference. So what I would do is I would choose a street more like this. So this is Church Street in Windsor. So what I will do is I will right click and I will copy image and I will open up Microsoft Word. Now, of course, I am using Microsoft Word. You could use Microsoft P uh, Apple Pages. You could use um, the Notes app on your tablet, whatever is easiest for you. And I right click and I paste. Um, doesn't really matter which one. I'm going to paste the picture. And there we go. So I've got my first image here. And then just underneath, uh, you could right click and you could add the caption this way from insert caption. Or you could just type underneath. OK, so this is, as we've just learnt, this is Church Street in Windsor from 1975. So Church Street, Windsor, 1975. Now I'm going to use Google Street View to try and find the modern version of this. So I'm going to keep that there and I'm just going to open up a new tab. So I'm going to type in Church Street, Windsor. And here it is. So I go to Maps. And here is Church Street Windsor. Now I'm going to use clues. I can see the castle here. There's usually a bit of information at the bottom. Okay. So again, it's um, Merry Thoughts. It's looking towards Windsor Castle. So if I search in, here it is. Windsor Castle is here. So if I just zoom in a bit, there is Church Street. What I will do is I will drag the little man down this box up into Church Street. So it's down at the bottom of here somewhere. Ah. There we go. If I just spin around, there we go. Ooh, very, very similar. Okay, so what I'm now going to do is I can't quite copy as easy from um, from Google Street View. So what I'm going to use is a tool called Snipping Tool. Now you could print screen, which you held down Control and print screen on your keyboard, but I prefer this because I can choose New. And what I can do is I can just copy the area that I want to copy. Now, of course, if you don't have a snipping tool on yours, if you've got a Mac, for example, there are shortcuts. If you let me know which um, computer and which operating system you have, I'll be able to tell you uh, some different shortcuts to do this on your keyboard. So there we go. I've snipped it. Right click and copy. And I can go to Microsoft Word and I can paste this in just here. Uh, so paste. And there we go. Oh, I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. And this one a little bit bigger here. And I'm going to call this one, uh, where's my caption? I'm going to insert caption. Church Street Windsor, uh, new label. Church Street Windsor. What year was this? Uh, it usually tells you at the bottom. This was image capture 2018. So 2018. Okie dokie. And there we go. So I've got my two images now, and I can now start to compare them. If this is too small, make them bigger. Alternatively, you can, of course, look at them on the internet there. Okay, you can start to compare how they look. Ooh, 
again interesting, you can start to see some of the similarities and some of the differences. Now when it comes to um, editing yours, now this is obviously on my software Word, so yours might be a bit different if you're using a different program. If you go to insert up here, and you can insert different shapes, where you can maybe point out different arrows, and you can write down the sides, you could use lines here to point it out, that's absolutely fine. And there's speech bubbles that you could use to do similarities and differences. An alternative way is at the bottom to write similarities, don't forget, and why, and then differences, and don't forget, and why, you're explaining why for each one. So I can put them in the center, I can bold line them, and I can even use a bullet point list, so home and bullet point lists. Again, change them if you want to change them. Okay, so I can start to look at the similarities and differences. Now, some of the similarities are things like the road is very similar. It's got a cobbled road in both of them. They're about the same width, not changed that. But I can also see some clear differences. Again, this building here, it's, well, it's different colour. Um, the shops have changed. Again, the use of it has changed. It's now gone from being sort of just a normal street where cars could go up and down. Whereas if you remember from the um, Google Maps view, You've got people sat outside in the cafe area. Again, it's become a pedestrianised zone. So you'll need to write your similarities and differences. Whether you write them on at the bottom, whether you insert text boxes and pictures at the side to be able to write in those, that's absolutely fine. Or again, if you're using something like um, an Apple or an, any other tablet and you want to write on them using, you know, like an Apple pen or whatever, you can do as well. So as long as you are showing me that you can compare similarities and differences. That is what I'm looking for. So I'm going to have another quick run through to show you exactly what to do, but in much quicker style. Are we ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So go to Google, go to geograph.org.uk as it brings up the website, you go to explore. This day in past years, scroll down and find an image that interests you again preferably with a road uh, 1992 so I keep going down so I find something that I really captures my attention uh, go up a little bit more let's choose something a little bit more modern this time uh, what would capture us oh that looks interesting okay then so Castle Street in Kingston upon Hull so right click copy image again this was 36 years ago, so I'll be able to put that date in there. So, and paste. There's my first image. Okay, so I've now got to find this using Google Street Maps. So again, it's North Castle Street. Uh, it goes into Vicar Lane. So Castle Street and Vicar Lane. Okay, now. Castle Street. This one hole. Go to Google Maps. I could even type that just into there. Let's do it new. Into there. Here it is. Okay then. So I'm looking for Vicar Lane as it tells me in that photograph. So I know it's going to be over here somewhere. I can have a quick scan of the different street names. Aha! Vicar Lane. So it's around here. Okay. Easy peasy. Take my man and I'm going to drop him just there. So I can spin around. Okay then, let me have a little look. Let's have a little comparison. Yep, I'm quite comfortable and happy that it's this place here. So again, I can now use my snipping tool. So I can type in the snipping tool into here. Snipping tool. And I go to my old photo. And I press new and I can take it from there. I don't need her in it. That will do just fine. I right click and I copy it. Let's just have a look. This was taken again in 2018. Super. And I can paste that into there. I can now give them the captions of the place and the year it was taken. And I can start to compare the two different places between similarities and why they may have stayed the same or differences and why they have changed. So year six, that is your task today and that is how you will need to complete it. Don't forget when you give me your similarities and differences, you need to explain why. All of this information can be found with the website addresses 
on the sheets that has been sent to you, including exactly what you need to include on your work at the bottom. All work should be done and sent to me today, please. Um, again, if you need any help with the sort of technical aspects of how to copy images or how to screenshots on your device, then all you need to do is send me a message with your device name and just ask me how to uh, do it, and I will be able to help you there. So, year six, thank you very much. Enjoy your session, and goodbye.